semester. We are always honored and privileged to have the women's volleyball team um, lead service. You are so, specifically Lizzie, she's so good at this. I was talking to her about being a minister. Um, Lizzie Kennedy, so thank you. And uh, with that, I will turn it over to you. So I'm Lucy, as you said. Um, I've always played volleyball. That's kind of what my sermon's kind of about, of how um, God has impacted me through that. And so I'm going to start off with the verse 1 Corinthians 15, 58. that says, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that you're living, and the, and the Lord is not in vain. Um, this was kind of introduced to me my junior year of uh, high school. And I played for a team that we kind of all came from different backgrounds and we all didn't see eye to eye very well. And during my junior year, like at the beginning of the year, we were not winning or producing any games or anything. And so I saw that like we were running heads, uh, people were kind of doing things for their own will and not for the will of the team, but like playing individually. And so, our senior year, with everything that had happened, because I was my COVID happened my senior year, we all had different things going on. Where my dad was in the hospital for with COVID the whole senior season, and then my friend's mom was just diagnosed with uh, stage four breast cancer, and then so we were all having our own personal struggles and battles, and so we decided that every day before practice that we were going to say a prayer, just to put everything that was up going on outside of our in our personal lives outside of the gym and just focus on each other and keeping God at the center of our practices. And so we started with that and we did that every day during the season. And our first game rolled around and we didn't get the outcome that we wanted to, to get. We played the second seed in the state that, and then beat us. And so it was kind of discouraging, but something that was different that we all noticed was that people were still lifting each other up and not bringing each other down. And our thing that we did was, who were we playing for? And then we'd all point up and for God. And so um, that brings me to my second verse, and it says, it's 2 Corinthians 4, 6, 16, verse, or 16 and 18, and it says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly, outwardly, ugh, outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our life is momentary, our mom and momentary troubles are achieving us for eternal glory that outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And so after that first loss, we came back and our coach brought us this verse. And she had told us and she asked us all to write down on a piece of paper what it meant to us. And something that I kind of brought to my attention that one of my teammates said was that this is just a game. This game is not going to be eternal. This game is just a tool to get us to the next step, whether it be going to college and playing, um, our escape from reality in the real world. Um, and so we all kind of set our why, and we actually did this this year, Coach and Kenneth, and uh, I think that's why I kind of chose this one, is because you never know like what anybody is going through inwardly. And so whenever you can go into the to like our team or be in your work area, workforce, do what you want and love and will, and do what it is, do what your will for God and not for yourself. Because if you're doing it for yourself, then it has no meaning or no glory, because all the glory is supposed to be for God. And so something that left me whenever we left that meeting is that I can go day in and day out, put in all the work that I want, but if I'm not doing it for my why, then it has no meaning. Um, and so that like sat with me for a while. And so then we all decided that probably twice a week that we were going to come together and talk and just spread the word with each other and see what's on our hearts. And so we ended up playing that season and going to the fifth round of playoffs. And the only reason why we lost in the fifth round is because our team got quarantined with COVID. And so I, I leave you with that is because the only reason why we were able to be successful is because we kept God in the center of our, of our team and of our practices and of our games and stuff. And so we built our foundation on God. Um, and then 
my last uh, verse is Second uh, Peter 3, verse 9, and it says, The Lord is not slow to keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not waiting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And so, I believe that we go through different hardships and different battles, not only to shape us and build us, but for us to grow and to learn and to see that um, he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy at all. He's really just sitting there kind of waiting for us to figure it out on our own because we have the, um, the will of choice and we have that option to choose the way that we, the path that we want to go down and stuff. And so um, that's a reminder that I want to make with y'all is that he is still a good God even though bad things happen and hard times come. And yeah, so I'm going to end up some prayer. It was a short message, but dear God, I just pray that you just. Um, Put your hands on every single one of us that is in here, Lord. I pray that you just help us uh, see what your will is for us and that we can keep you at the center of our lives and that we can continue to be lights in this world because we know that um, your will is the only will, Lord. And I pray that you just watch over every single one of us and that you just keep us safe, healthy, and happy and help us uh, keep you at the center of our lives and at the center of today. Lord, we love you. Thank you for our duty. Trust me. Amen. Amen.